Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, September 3rd, and I'm here to get your daily message. So um, let's go ahead and see what Spirit has to say. Um, hope everyone's doing well. All right, Spirit. So what is our message for September 3rd or whenever anyone finds this message? Because it can be timeless. What do you want the collective to acknowledge, to focus on, to be aware of? What wisdom can you give us and guidance? And as always, we thank you for your support, Spirit. All right, so, what is our message today? Let's see. I'm gonna do two more. These are a little bigger cards, so they're a little more awkward to handle. Okay, one more. Let's see. Okay. All right, Spirit. So what what you have for us today? Oops. That is too many. Let's get these turned back around. As I said, awkward. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Spirit, what's our message for today? September 3rd. Or when someone finds this message. There we go. Okay. So we have becoming braver. Resilience. Experience. Growing stronger. Fresh perspective. So after we've already work through those temptations after we've already released that grief and regrets and we became unstuck now it's becoming braver so let's see let's see what we got here let's, let's go ahead and um put this card up i don't know if it's going up let's say well you can't really see the whole thing Adjust this a little bit. becoming braver well you can't see the thing but becoming braver Oops, I forgot to look at the number. Number five. Again, change. All right. Change. It could be challenges, too. Five. Becoming braver. Resilience, experience, growing stronger, fresh perspective. After a fall such as this, I shall think nothing of tumbling downstairs. How brave they'll all think of me at home. Why? I wouldn't say anything about it, even if I fell off the top of the house. Alice is brave, and so are you. With everything that has taken place in your life of late, you have often felt overwhelmed, challenged, and uncertain of whether you could cope with very much more. But you have shown great courage, and perhaps even more wonderfully, you've developed so much resilience because of the extreme nature of the events and experiences you have been working with. You will now be able to deal with all the manner of circumstance with great calm and so stoicism. And this is no small thing. Hold on a minute. I think I got a cat wanting to come out. Come on. Just don't knock my stuff over. <laughs> okay. Being challenged. There's a challenge right there, right? Challenge number five. I said change, but it's also challenge mostly. Come on. All right. Being challenged in quite radical ways, you see some people retreat entirely from life. But you, like Alice, can see one of the aspects of working through adversity is realizing how much you can do. You have, you have been stretched, pushed, and gone right to the very edges of what you know about yourself. And you have come to know yourself far better, far more deeply than if you had these great and sometimes rather terrible adventures. Most of all, please know these truths. You are strong, you are brave, you are resilient. Mimi, come on. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. <sighs> challenges all right okay you have been stretched pushed and gone right to the very edges of what you know about yourself all right come on you gotta move sorry about that everybody <laughs> these cats all right so you talk about challenges right uh, all right most of all please know these truths you are strong and you are brave you are resilient you have been dignified graceful and remain curious under the greatest sorts of pressures. This has been in many ways your finest hour and you will be able to set an amazing example when life returns to something just a little closer to what people call normal. The divination, you have been tested, the development of strength and resilience through the courageous meeting of challenges, the demonstration of great character, the knowledge, the acknowledgement of how much you have learned, the ability to cope with so many, so many little things due to a great ordeal endured with grace, dignity, and humor. Testing times show true character. So, 
we've been tested, we've passed the test, and now it is time to go on forward with dignity and grace and you've learned the lesson and now it's time for that abundance. So that's your message for today. Thanks for putting up with the challenges. But see, spirit knows you can handle it and then you're getting rewarded for it. So have a great day. Bye.